What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 53 of our Wolves career mode. And today, three games for you. We have Manchester City, West Brom, and Tottenham all in six days. Or seven days. Yeah, it's a week. Um, but yeah, two really, really big games in there. Manchester City, of course, to start. We're two points ahead of Leicester. And currently nine ahead of Manchester City. But a loss today would obviously cause a few problems there. But everybody's fit, though. Lucas is a little bit tired. I think I'm going to replace him with Sanchez to start. And we'll see how things go. So let's jump into this right away. Wolves-Manchester City. A massive game. Two massive games today. Let's go. Nice tackle there by Semedo now. Can he go back up the other way? He can. Slide that through to Traore. Traore can continue to race down the middle here. How wide. Find St. Maximin. And St. Maximin can get that ball across. And what a start this is. And that's four or five games now in a row where we have scored a goal inside the opening ten minutes. We hit teams on the break. We are ultra efficient. And some of these big teams like to really push players up the pitch. That's an excellent run. It's Traore there. That's kind of messed everyone up. Dragging players a little bit forward. Players running in behind, and it's Sanchez who we bought into the starting lineup who taps home from a St. Maximin cross. Lovely stuff. 1 0 on seven minutes. Forward to Neves, and Jimenez right down the middle now, and he can get away from Koulibaly here. And Koulibaly loses him, and it's come to back post after the save, and St. Maximin can't get there. That is a really, really big opportunity there. He got away from Koulibaly. Just couldn't finish it. This comes up to Milik, and Milik's in a little bit of space. Gomez is going to chase back. Oh, Milik gets by. And Gomez, what are you doing? Get back into it. It's a huge block. It's come back out again, though, and it's straight at Patricio. Jesus. Lazy defending Gomez. Once he beat him out there, we had another player come over, but he's kind of just stayed back. Not ideal. Nice ball forward here. Silva's going to get on to it. Got a touch on to it. Not enough. Clipped into the middle is Rodri. De Bruyne. Decent touch inside. Can't get it away. This 1-1. One, one. I thought we got the foot in on Milik. It hasn't happened and De Bruyne smashes the ball into the back of the net to level it. Hmm. Not exactly ideal, is it? 55 minutes gone. It's 1-1. Here's the move. And I th thought we got it there. He's just put it back onto his other foot. Played it across. De Bruyne smashes it in. Then on 55 minutes, it's 1-1. Nice tackle. Here's Sanchez again. Being dragged back, but doing well enough to hold on. And he slides it through to Jimenez in an excellent spot. Jimenez, lovely finish. That's excellent from Sanchez, who scored one and made one now. And Jimenez finishes it off to give us back the lead very, very quickly here. Weren't level for long, six or seven minutes. But Sanchez there, he was getting yanked back. This guy just keeps pulling. He gets away, slides the pass in. Excellent touch to get it to a spot where he can open up his body. And Jimenez slides it just beyond Ederson, who cannot keep it out. It's 2-1 here on 61 minutes. What's going on here? Why is everyone seemingly stuck? And De Bruyne runs right through and scores. What was going on there? How come every time I tried to run, everybody was stuck? It was almost like they were stuck in molasses. What happened there? I don't think anything's wrong with my controller. Oh, uh, what in the world? We caught it late also, and De Bruyne just runs through, and that's an absurd goal, by the way. That hit is perfect. He has slammed that home. There is zero chance for Patricio. Right into the side netting. It's his second of the game, but what in the world happened there defensively? I have no idea. Their time for a winner from either side as Jimenez breaks forward. Comes out to Neves, and Jimenez has made an excellent run, and it's come to Jimenez, and he's finished it. And that might be the winner. 87 minutes, and Jimenez gives us a 3-2 lead with not so long to go. Only a couple of minutes or so. 
That could be a massive, massive goal in our title aspirations. Jimenez slides it there, runs off the back of him, and he's just too quick. And it's an excellent first-time finish. He gets it around the on-rushing Ederson. Oh, just over his outstretched hand. As we said, 87 minutes gone. There's only three minutes to go. Can we hold on here and grab a massive three points? They would be massive. Leicester were losing to Chelsea 1-0 at halftime in their game. That's going on at the same time, of course. So hopefully... That could be enough as that ball gets through. And Edison does well to come out and collect that. Two minutes added on. Clips it forward. Sterling never really going to win that, is he? Guendouzi plays it forward. Here's Lucas. Oh, I was hoping that run would come. It hasn't, but that should be enough. That should be it. Blow the whistle. A late, late winner. From Raul Jimenez gives us a massive three points as we defeat Chelsea, or not Chelsea, but defeat Manchester City. Leicester are playing Chelsea, a very tight game there. And Chelsea have run through Leicester 3-0, so that opens up a five-point gap at the top of the table. As we just get by Christmas here, we're going to be playing on Christmas. Risk of losing six players. Patricio Traore, Johnny Neves, Jimenez, Jesus. Okay, hold on, hold on. We have got a little bit to look at here, okay? Delegate Renewal. He's on 85k a week right now. Do I start it at 85? I do. One year, that's fine. Sarkic, I'll just, I mean, I'm not interested in that. Johnny, Delegate Renewal. He's on 77 right now. Jesus, he wants quite a bit, doesn't he? Two years, 95. That's kind of a lot, but we'll deal with it. Marques, I'm going to let go. What else we got here? Neves, he has to stay. He's valued at 118 million. Delegate renewal. God, he wants a lot, doesn't he? And it's only fair. 135 for three years. Comfortable with that. Lucas, he has to say. Delegate renewal. I don't know where to start him. That's fine. 67 is perfectly fine. I'm kind of just looking for anything. And Traore, delegate renewal. He's on 72 right now. 160 grand a week, three years. A lot of these players are getting some humongous raises. Um, but at least we got everybody tied down. And we can get rid of all those. So a massive, massive victory. As you can see, five points ahead of Leicester now. And we're 12 ahead of third place Tottenham, who we will be playing soon. But anytime someone drops points down there, it's seemingly overtaken. But look at the gap between five and six all of a sudden. No Liverpool, no Everton. Big old gap. But let's jump into this West Brom Wolves. And we can... I don't want to say we can put out a second team. But there are a lot of tired legs out here. And, uh, you know, that might just have to happen. We're going to run with Foyth. I'm actually going to play Hoover at center back. Um, Neto can play and so can Puddens. Buta can start. This is going to be a really rotated team. Um, Nuri can have a start. Vitinha can have a start. Do I start with Guendouzi? Yeah, I probably do. Rene Adelaide can come onto the bench. Andrade can come onto the bench. For Gomez, we don't really need Gomez on there. Vinagre can come onto the bench. And that'll do it. I can't wait to have Dendonker back. I don't know when he's due to come back, but that is one I would love back as soon as possible. So very rotated side. Wolves, West Brom. Let's keep it going. We're in one of those situations again, guys, where the jerseys are unnecessarily close. I mean, we have a third kit and a first kit that would clash way better than this. I mean, it's white and blue on white and blue. We have a red and an orange, but you know, we're kind of, I'm sorry for anyone who just can't deal with this. I apologize early that we might score a goal early. It hasn't happened. It is going to be cleared, but this is going to be annoying all game. And as I said, I apologize. Oh, can't quite get that out there to Puddins, but it's going to eventually find its way there. And Puddins is racing away here. And Puddins can slide it in. And one more. There it is. 
Lovely stuff. As Fabio Silva smashes home the lead. 1-0. And they had a good set of opportunities at the other end. But we come right down and score. Excellent, excellent football as well. Just outnumber them. Keep sliding it across the box. Opponents are so quick. He just takes players out of the equation by beating them to the byline. And he's done that there with the fullback. And this gets pulled all the way back to Fabio Silva. Smashes it into the net. 1-0 on 12 minutes. That's lovely. Morton's on it here. He's quick. So he races toward the byline. Steps inside. He's looking for the right pass. And that's going to be a penalty. I didn't even push any buttons. And Foyth has gone in there. But it didn't even look like he touched him, really. And West Brom are going to have a way back into this. What's this? He's... Sh that... Mm, that is annoying. I don't know how that's a penalty, but... Pereira... Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, and he's hit the post. And that's... That's a little bit of justice done. Let's get the ball out, though. Before it's justice. As it comes back across, that's a massive save from Patricio. Jesus, what an odd series of events. And it comes in on the corner and it's just wide as well. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's not a penalty to me to begin with. And then, an excellent save by Patricio. Jesus, very, very close for West Brom, but luckily we remain 1-0 up. Oh, plenty of space here now for West Brom. We need Guendouzi to step into that space. And he hasn't. And that's a good save. I'm waiting for Guendouzi to come back and step in. He looked like he was going to. He hasn't. West Brom forcing another good save out of Patricio. Who's had a good game to start here. But West Brom are definitely putting up a fight. And Vinagre, I feel, can do it here. Though he's not the strongest or anything like that. But I think defensively he can handle it. But here come West Brom. Space for them here. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Lovely ball back across. And it's 1-1. And you can't say West Brom haven't deserved it. They pull back level. Very quick start to the second half. And our quick starts lately have not been followed up with more goals. For the second time in a row, we've scored inside the first 10 minutes. And then in the 50 if the minute we've conceded the equalizer that is a good finish of course but a really good ball across it's good football they had plenty of space on the counter there we cannot let that happen nice football here Matthias Pereira is going to get on to this Hoover just to step inside and they're in plenty of space here and they've scored again and West Brom They're out playing us a little bit here. 2-1. Uh, I know we've got a really rotated 11, but there's so much space in the middle here. Look at him. All alone. That's an excellent finish. Hammers it right into the corner. And on 65 minutes, it's 2-1 to West Brom. We do not want to relinquish our lead just like that. We just opened up a five-point gap. And now losing to a team we ought to be beating, surely. One more. Nicely done. Played all the way out wide. Back in. Buta. Sees Fabio Silva. Oh, I tried to touch it on, but couldn't. Nice takeaway. We can slide that through to Lucas. And Lucas steps inside. Brilliantly done. And there it is. 2-2. And just like that, we hit back. They weren't ahead for long. On 68 minutes, we've leveled it up. And now there's 20 minutes of very, very tight action coming. It's a good finish. It's a good step inside, though. He just loses his man. Vinagre did well. Slid it to him. Steps back inside. It's a lovely step. And not only did the step lose the man in terms of direction, but the touch inside is excellent. Puts him in space. It's an excellent finish into the side netting. And with 20 minutes to go, it's 2-2. Two -two. Ooh, this... Guy out here. I thought that was ours. And look at all the space. Patricio. Oh, he's lobbed him. 
And in the 87th minute, we let them in behind. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> this is, he's just in behind. That's it. Our center back steps up. Oh, he's just gone straight over his head. Oh, my God. It's a good finish in the 88th minute, though. They've been very, very good defensively, West Brom. They've conceded two, but, you know, good defensively in terms of playing against us. Seconds played forward. That looked like a foul, and Jimenez would have been offside. Second slip forward. Can we get the header on? We can. We need a goal here. Only two minutes left and out of time. There we go. Gets it to Vinagre. And Vinagre pushes forward. Jimenez. Oh, there's the space. A lovely ball in there. And oh. How has he got back to that? I thought he had it. I thought he had it. And three points dropped here. We were poor, really, all day long. Defensively. Not great. They played really, really well, West Brom, as you can see. They outshot us, doubled our shots there. I mean, that's a big game to lose. Manchester City win, Chelsea win. I did not see Leicester on there, but we were five points up, and then uh, a big game to lose. The Leicester lose their game. We get a little bit lucky, a little bit lucky, a big loss there, but we keep our gaps all over the place. Very, very lucky. And now we head into a very difficult Tottenham game. So, after all that, we didn't really lose any ground, which is absolutely incredible. So, let's jump into this game. Wolves, Tottenham. Let's go. It's a nice turn here. Is Lucas. He sees the run being made by St. Maximin. And St. Maximin's onside. And Luis Felipe stumbled a little bit. St. Maximin, lovely finish. And once again, a quick start. And now this time we just got to avoid letting Tottenham equalize. Ten minutes gone, it's 1-0. And Luis Felipe stuttered a little bit there. On the run back toward the byline there. And then St. Maximin, once he got there, just beats him inside. And it's a nice little finish, just passes it in to the bottom corner. 1-0 on ten minutes. Let's see if we can, you know, defensively... Be a little bit better, avoid allowing the equalizer, and then offensively perhaps find a second goal quicker than we normally do. Nicely done. Oh, that's a good ball in there to Harry Kane. It's a good touch. It's a good finish. And that's what I'm talking about. The equalizer comes after our early start. Harry Kane smashes home the goal. Not good enough. There's plenty of space there for Harry Kane. He gets to it, and that touch there just... Takes him into that space. Can't get across. 1-1 one, one here on 25 minutes. And once again, we give away a goal to equalize after an early, early lead. And we got We really got to stop doing that. It's like six games in a row we scored inside the first 10 minutes. It's four games in a row now after doing such things that we have given away the equalizer. Get a touch onto it, but not enough. Stop them trying and bring this forward. It's a good ball into space here. It's Limer, and he found Kane. It's 2-1 to Tottenham. Oh, man. I thought we got in the way, and Harry Kane does it again. It's his second. <sighs> Too easy. That ball splits everybody. And then he gets it back inside. It's a good finish again for Harry Kane, and we've been really poor going forward again today like we were against West Brom I don't know if teams have just changed their defensive style on us or what but we've been once again not so great great ball out here Gelson Martins is going to get on to this need to cover Harry Kane Gelson Martins on it now and he tries to slide that back post headed right back to the middle of the box and that is an absurd finish from Deli Alley it's 3-1 Oh, that is an absurd finish, but the header out right to him. Cross comes in from Gelson Martins, and the header just comes right to him, doesn't it? That finish is absurd. Got above it. 
kept it down. An excellent finish, and now with 25 minutes to go, we have a mountain to climb to get a point. Nicely played, Neves. Slid inside, it's lovely football this, and it comes to Neves! Oh, that's a massive, massive save. Oh, we would have been back in it with 10 minutes to go. That is a huge save. One more, Potence. Can we find a way back in? It's a decent spell for us here. Sanchez, Guendouzi. Fabio Silva touched on. Sanchez back to Silva. And Silva's still holding it, trying to get to the byline. Finds Potence. That's a really poor pass from Potence, and they take it away. Five minutes to go. Harry Kane is onside. Slips it into a good space. It's a good save. Oh, that's a penalty. Ugh. Tottenham are going to win this one. We have not been good enough again going forward. How is that a penalty? Again, for the second time in a row, how is that a penalty? And Harry Kane puts it into the bottom corner for his hat trick. And Tottenham have come here and destroyed us, really. Oh my god, stop it. Sends us the wrong way. Hits it well enough. As I said, going forward the last two games, we have not been good. I don't know if teams are sitting a little bit deeper. They're learning a little bit, but... Either way, we have not been good enough... And they've been moving their ball around really, really easily as well. It's been a very, very poor couple of afternoons here. Two games in a row where we've been beaten rather easily. It is not good enough. And we had a chance, really, to take this title away from everybody with these two games. It hasn't happened. We had two shots, six shots over our last two games total. Is Leicester draw again? And we had a chance to go flying away from all these teams around us. Not good enough. Let's take a look at the table because I believe our gap is still four, but it could have been ten, you know, and that's just one of those things. We got to get clicking again. The gap is for Tottenham are within six now, and it's come of the, some of the other teams are getting close, but we could have been ten points ahead and just gone, you know? But here we are, and now it's still a race, and that is so, so, so annoying. Let's take a look at the schedule. We'll be entering January. We have Middlesbrough home in the Carabao Cup, and then Liverpool in the, first, or in the FA Cup, and then Liverpool first round of the or the semifinal of the Carabao Cup and then Manchester City so it's it's not going to get any easier and we need to find our form going forward again guys but that is going to be it I hope you folks have enjoyed it stay tuned for more and peace